is Russian Grand Prix weekend and rumours coming out that Nico Hulkenberg could be on his way out of McLaren and on his way back to potentially racing point actually that was Force India but this is the Russian Grand Prix and this is the grid so the Russian Grand Prix it's the same front two that we've seen so often in the past races Brown ahead of Verstappen third and fourth is Charles Leclerc and Pierre Gasly with Valtteri Bottas fifth and Sergio Perez getting a good sixth Carlos went to seventh and Lucas Weber eighth then running out the top ten is Lewis Hamilton and the Canadian Lance Stroll then comes George Russell who has a five place group penalty ahead of Lando Norris his fellow Brit then it's Kevin Magnussen with Nico Hülkenberg having a five place group penalty as well Devon Butler 15th and Antonio Giovinazzi 16th Roman Grosjean 17th and Daniel Ricciardo 18th and on the final row of the grid it is Alexander Albon with Vettel serving a 10 place penalty and starting last Hi guys, Brown here. Welcome back to the F1 Career Mode here today for part 56 for the Russian Grand Prix. We're on pole again, we we'll beat Verstappen again. It's the third time in four races that us two have been on the front row. Strategy for the race, we managed to get through Q2 on the medium, so we'll be starting on the mediums then going to the soft. If everything goes all right, Let's get into this Russian Grand Prix. There wasn't one last season, but we've got one this season, and it's lights out, and away we go. We've got a very good start. So is Charles Leclerc. Max Verstappen's been absolutely shot down here. He's had a poor start. He's gone side by side with his teammate. We've gone right over to cover off Max Verstappen here, and it's Charles Leclerc on the outside. Now going wheel to wheel with Pierre Gasly. He fends off Pierre Gasly, and now. Here comes Charles Leclerc trying to get past his teammate as we go around the long turn three and now into turn four and our tyres are cold, our brakes are cold, we go off the track and there's Max Verstappen on our inside. We have to defend round the outside but the tyres are absolutely cold, they're like ice. So we lose that out to Max Verstappen. We go wide again a bit. We nearly lose out to Charles Leclerc into that corner. And now Charles Leclerc's left defending Pierre Casley again. But heading now onto the straight that isn't really a straight and the DRS. So we're going to be left defending the other Ferrari. It's been a horrible first lap for us. We've gone down into P2 and now possibly P3 down the inside goes Charles Leclerc we do we try and do the switch back now and now we're just gonna sail around his outside that is an unbelievable move that we somehow go back up into P2 that is amazing if you've done the Russian Grand Prix you know how tight that corner is so for us to get past there, absolutely amazing. And now we can, no, we can't go after Max Verstappen. Back down the inside, tries Charles Leclerc, tried to pinch him into the apex slightly. And now Charles Leclerc going to be left defending Pierre Gasly. And now on to lap two in the DRS again, because it's not um, enabled yet. We defend him, we nearly lose the back end there, you saw. And now, here comes Pierre Gasly on the outside of Charles Leclerc. This is amazing racing. We have just about broken away now. Hopefully that means we can stay away. There's side by side Pierre Gasly on the inside and into the second to last corner. Pierre Gasly takes third place in this Russian Grand Prix. Charles Leclerc, you know how feisty he is. Just think Silverstone when he's battling away with Max Verstappen. And he's going to be coming straight back at Pierre Gasly, or oh, no he isn't, because here comes Sergio Perez, down his inside, Valtteri Bottas is having a look as well, round the outside, he tries to defend, and he does, onto lap 3 now, and now Charles Leclerc is right on the back of Pierre Gasly, and in the DRS on lap 4, he does 
get the job done down the inside. Pick Gasly will fight him off to the inside, round the outside. Charles Leclerc goes, goes back up into P3, P, and onto lap six, onto lap eight rather. This is Kevin Magnussen's engine blowing and going out the race. You would have saw there the brief shot of Max and me going through. That's how close we were. We were closing in on Max. And that has brought out the safety car. And that is the worst case scenario. What do we do now? Into the pits comes Max Verstappen. I'm on the mediums unless I want to go to the hards, which I don't want to do. I've got to stay out. So we are going to stay out and we've just got to hope and pray and try and pray to the lucky stars and the F1 God that we can get something out of this race now. We just need a kind of Lewis Hamilton style in Singapore in 2016. Just get our foot down as there's traffic there at Red Bull that's called out Charles Leclerc. Leclerc can get out of his pit box because the Red Bulls were queued up. There's Lando Norris. And this race, we're going to be, obviously, we can control the start. Everyone, literally everyone is in the pits now, which is not good for us. They're probably going to go to the end. They go all on the medium, so no one touching the hard tyres, which this is what I was, this is my thinking, because we were going to be so slow if we went on to the hards. We had to stay out. This is a replay of Kevin Magnussen going out of the race. Big engine failure in that Ferrari engine in the back of that horse. Here we are now on the back of the safety car. And on to lap 10, behind the safety car, Lando Norris. It's broke something on this car. He's probably screaming it's broken inside that cockpit. And under the safety car, we've lost two cars in this race. Lando Norris is out. And, we'll, and that doesn't affect the safety car. It's still coming in, so they've clearly got that car away. And we'll control the start. Giovinazzi's second, so he stayed out along with us. So we literally now just have to hope that Giovinazzi can keep... Verstappen and all of that lot behind him and we just have to bolt away there's nothing more to that going into the chicane I'm going so slowly not as slow as I was last time out in Singapore but coming out of the chicane I'm going to put my foot down and we are going to get back racing in Russia on lap 10 into the final two corners we go now into the final corner we've already pulled a slight gap and now we just need to get the hammer down. It is well and truly hammer time. You can see the gut of all put already pulled out as Max Verstappen dispatches Giovinazzi like he's not even there. And then Pierre Gasly behind him, one lap later, is going to have a go and get past Giovinazzi like he's not even there again. And then Sergio Perez probably going to have a little look at the Italian in a couple of laps or so skipping though all the way on to lap 16 we had a 3.6 second gap to max verstappen it's not a good gap that's as much as i could pull i was literally qualifying laps you can see max Verstappen in the background so on lap 16 that gives us 10 laps to just hit just you know just get the hammer down and just push and push and push. We don't have to worry about tyre wear. That isn't really an issue around this track. Onto the sauce. And literally everyone has got past us. So onto lap 17. We're going to come out of the pits in P17. We've gone all the way down from P1 to P17. Just in that pit stop. On to the end of the lap though. We've caught the Battle of Hulkenberg. Alban and Roman Grosjean and we've just sailed around the outside of Nico Hülkenberg at that chicane and now we're going to send it into the final second to last corner on Alex Alban and now we can get Grosjean hopefully down through turn one at the kink 
and into turn two we're going to go to the outside of Roman Grosjean and we're going to get him before we even get to turn one Albon's having a battle with Nico Hulkenberg trying to get around his outside and on to lap 18 we're on the back of Daniel Ricciardo and just like we did to Alex Albon we're going to go down the inside and we're going to get the job done on the Australian and on to lap 19 now we will go and we've caught the other Renault of Devon Butler down the inside we get our rival our F2 rival and now up ahead of us now is Sebastian Vettel I thought about it down the inside we weren't quite close enough into the final corner nearly hit the back of him then we broke so early but now we're gonna have DRS we're gonna have this lit stream through the kink we go on lap 20 we only have seven laps to go they're all battling ahead but here we go we're gonna go to the inside Sebastian Vettel blocks us off so we get two into one three into one doesn't go it does that time and we've just got two positions from Sebastian Vettel and I believe it was Lance Strong so that's amazing Vettel nearly causes it into a crash but, but here we go now with Lucas Weber on the outside Weber fought his hand he's going to try and squeeze us off the track he's completely off the track we're still there down the inside we go he kind of pinches into the apex before we even but whilst we were trying to get the move underway but we got him in the end and that's the only thing that matters now round the final corner we're going to get Carlos Sainz here and we're going to get him pretty easily no we're not Carlos Sainz quick in that red ball gets stays ahead but we've got the slipstream and now we're going to send it down the inside that's Lewis Hamilton and gain another two positions we are we are absolutely cutting our way through the field so we're in to P7 up ahead of us is Factory Bottas and Charles Leclerc batting away around the outside tries to go Factory Bottas trying to defend Charles Leclerc here. Charles Leclerc does defend. We've sent it on Sergio Perez. We've sent it on on Factory Bottas. And now we're on the back of Charles Leclerc. We're going to go down the inside of Charles Leclerc into that second to last corner. And we're going to get him into the final corner. And that puts us up then into P4. In P3 is our teammate. We have three laps to try and catch and pass him in this race you can see him just up ahead Charles Leclerc on our outside we defend him just like we did on the opening lap of this race and now on lap 26 we're just about caught the back of George Russell this is going to be an absolutely incredible final lap Max Verstappen wins there's George Russell we sent it down the inside of the final corner to take third place off George Russell's hands Anthony Davidson what helped them deliver this result do you think? Without a doubt the safety car changed everything today the key to their success was keeping calm and reacting to the situation quickly we've seen teams in the past throw away wins because they were too hesitant but here they were decisive and that's allowed them to take the advantage Ferrari are at it again, an excellent performance at today's Grand Prix, and they're certainly a team that know what they're doing out there. Well, that has been your Russian Grand Prix, you know. From season one, it was worth the wait. Wow. Lando Norris and Kevin Magnus at your retirement. Verstappen won. This is the final corners of, of the move. I, it kind of didn't really get covered in that. So into the final corner, I just decided link this up and absolutely send it. And we got the job done in the end. This is the standings. There's 125 points left this season. 
we're only 41 points behind Max Verstappen. It's going to be hard, but we can still beat. We can still win the 2021 title. We are going to need a lot of luck. And we are going to have to be driving our absolute just as far as we can go. The constructor's too far away. We are 75 points behind, so we, it's probably possible, but George isn't always up there. Back into the paddock, we're going to have to renegotiate our contract with Williams. And that'll be the last time before it, we have to do it again in Abu Dhabi. I'm not really too sure where I will be next season. Obviously the regulation change is probably going to be a lot of driver transfers anyway. So, yeah, that was a good race. Obviously, last season, for when we were driving for Red Bull, there wasn't a Russian Grand Prix because of some issues that I had um, with the footage. I didn't have enough memory to record it, so the footage was just corrupting every time I tried to record it. So the contract is about as good as we got. They didn't like the first one, and then the second one just, just inside. So we've got we're going to have a brand new contract. We're going to save some more parts on the car on the R and D. We're going to. I just decided just to save all the major ones, just in case we if we do stay at Williams, then we should be good next season. That's been the video for today, I hope you enjoyed it, make sure to like and subscribe if you have, share it if you want, what a race, I'm going for a lie down, goodbye.